it to me though. Like something. Alright. Pokemon Platinum Version. Nuzlocke. Hello there, it's very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I am to go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. N no info, I've played Pearl. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here I have a Pokeball. Touch that button on the middle of the Pokeball, if you please. Whoa! That, that, that's Bunny Oh my gosh! We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some Pokemon use their Pokemon to battle and develop a closer bond with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Oh, that's a cool jacket. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Well, I choose the girl avatar because I like the hat, but like, that's a cool jacket. Uh, a cool jacket, all the way. Alright, so you're a boy. Yes. Tell me, what is your name? Uh, yeah, my name? Nope, that's not, that's not the right button. Fits just perfectly, just like mine. Your name is Gilbert? Yes. Okay, so you're Gilbert. A fine name, that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. Uh, what uh, might his name be? Uh, his name is Barry? Oh, we can call him Barry B. Benson. Maybe Barry Benson. Let's try it. Oh, no, there's not enough letters, I don't think. We can call him Barry B.B., though. Barry B. Benson. Barry B.B., is it? That's your friend's name? No, it's Barry B. Benson, but yeah, I guess you can pronounce it that way. Alright, Gilbert, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I am sure along the way you will even discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now, go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. That's me, but I'm small. Reject realism, become small. Wait, this is different from Pearl. Pokemon are by our side, always. I hope you will understand the meaning of those words. That was the comment left by Professor Rowan, who has returned from the, to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. That concludes our special program, Let's Ask Professor Rowan. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Wait, this intro is different than Pearl. I've never played this game before. Oh, um, he's not supposed to be here. There you are! Hey, Gilbert! Did you just see the TV? Sure you did. Professor Rowan's that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. Oh, hey, is this a new PC? Uh, uh where was I? Oh, right, wait. We're going to see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Gilbert, if you're late, <laughs> I'm finding you ten, I'm finding you ten million. He's still the same, uh, pay me big guy, though. That part never changes. Gilbert? Barry B. Benson already left. I don't know what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. Thanks, Mom. I got my cool jacket, though, so I don't need any help. <laughs> oh, yes, Gilbert? Don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but... You don't, so... Well, take care, sweetie. Yeah, I get it, Mom. But my cool jacket will save me. That's why I chose this cool jacket. Well, the thing in the top left was different. I had, like, a really cool... Why is there sand? Is that snow? Thud. 
What was that about? Oh, hey, Gilbert. Hey, I'm going to go see Professor Wellen. You should come too, and quickly. Oh, jeez, I forgot something. What a muscle brain. He's like... Imagine if the Team Fortress 2 heavy guy was that energetic. I better take my bag and channel 2. Oh, hey, Gilbert. I'll be waiting on the road. Find 10 million if you're late. Let me go steal stuff from him. Gonna go mess up his Minecraft world. Tell me I can't get on his PC. What the? He has nothing on his PC except how to open the menu. What the heck? I can't even mess up his Minecraft world. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with me? Alright, I guess we just go to him now. I, it's different from what I remember. But I, I guess Platinum is just a different version of the game, I guess. Too slow! Alright, let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab. What? Don't go into the cold grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one, I've got an idea. Now listen, wild Pokemon jump out of the when you talk uh, grass. So like, what you do, you gotta scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, we can get to Sandstorm Town without running into a wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. Okay, here goes. Uh, any works? Hold it! You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? Hey, yo, look, this, this old guy, it, it's Professor Rowan, isn't it? They tried to go into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Hmm, what to do? The world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it alright for me to put them on that path? Oh, why the heck not? You too, you truly love Pokemon, right? I don't know. Whoa, hold up, you're not making any sense here. Ahem. Oh, I didn't quite catch that, so I will ask you again. Yeah, you two truly do love Pokemon, do you? Fine, I guess. I do. Sure. Me too, I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again, you too. You truly love Pokemon, do you? What? You can ask a hundred times. The answer will never change. We'll both answer a hundred times. We love Pokemon. Right, Killer? Uh, sure. Sure. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter tall grass. Without Pokemon of their own? Worries me that people like that would do with Pokemon. Uh, will I? Well then forget about me, but give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. Oh, how big of you. Well then, I won't trust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However, you must promise me that you will never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then, where were we? Oh, it's the person with the scarf. Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase at the lake. <laughs> oh, is something wrong here? I'm just not going to give you a voice. I don't like it. Oh, there it is, Don. Nice work. What was I about to entrust these... What I was about to entrust, uh, uh, Pokemon. Hmm, we exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokemon. There is a world that should be explored together. For them, that, for them, today is that time. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. I can't believe, I'm so happy, I can't wait. This is not this guy. Oh. That's embarrassing. I want to get to the other side, though. Okay. So, normally... I choose Chimchar. But I know this guy evolves into a big boy. And I'm pretty sure he has good defense. And, uh, that seems good for a Nuzlocke. Especially where I can only use one item per battle. God. Did I choose you? I'm picking this Chimchar. 
Very well, both of you have chosen a good Pokemon, it seems. Now listen well, the Pokemon you have been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they're such... they're much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. If you have any trouble, come see me at my lap in Sandstrom Town. And now, we'll be on our way. So, uh, the rules for this are, uh, name every Pokemon, don't let Pokemon die, and only one item per battle, and basic Nuzlocke rules. <laughs> 